<laughs> so, okay, so you got this reputation, man. You got this crazy oh, reputation. Shit. You feel me? Uh, how do you how do you move through Chicago? Do do you feel like you probably got a target on your back? Hell no, nah, he ain't scared, man. I'm outside every day. They ass ducking. I never see people on live dropping my low, showing their ass where I'm at. We be outside every day. I be from up uh, everywhere. Um, uh, you could think of. When you gangbang in a city like Chicago, no matter how big and bad you think you are, you can and will be touched. So many people in that city with the craziest serial killer type of reputations have gotten killed there. Being feared in Chicago just makes people want to kill you faster. The subject of today's video blew up on social media after openly bragging about committing a heinous broad daylight double murder and hinting at having over 10 bodies in the streets. His social media antics would bring a spotlight to his music, but would also put a large target on his back. He would only have a name for a couple months before he was shot and killed. The subject of today's video is none other than Bloodhound Little Jeffrey, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Bloodhound Little Jeff is a rapper and gang member from the east side of Chicago. He had two brothers and was raised primarily by his mother as his dad wasn't really around. He quit playing basketball after he didn't make the varsity team, so he looked for something else to do with his life. His rough upbringing led to him gravitating towards the streets. When Jeff was just 14 years old, his house was shot up and a bullet flew by his face, nearly hitting him. His older brother was active in the streets and would introduce Jeff to it. He officially jumped off the porch at 18 years old. Jeff was a member of Drill City slash Bloodhound, which claims the area of 79th and Maryland. They beef with BKN, Trap City, TYMB, 8 Trey Mob, and 800. Little Jeff was wild. He was always on Instagram Live, dropping his location and displaying heavy artillery. He acted crazy on social media. He was snorting lines on camera during interviews. He openly hinted on multiple occasions that he had over 10 bodies and that he was a top killer in Chicago. I'm taking the killing school. Class start next week. You got at least have like, you got at least have two bodies though, for I ain't coming with no, you ain't got shit, I can't work with no beginners, folks. <laughs> you gotta at least have a, you gotta at least have a two. I'm gonna give y'all two minimum, a two. I'm gonna start at two minimum, cause y'all know why I'm gonna start at two minimum. Now I'm just doing it for for a tradition. I'm gonna start at two minimum, man. Two, you gotta have a minimum of two. No, anything, you gotta have two. <laughs> you gotta have a, you gotta have a minimum of two of them bitches to come to school. You just gonna sit your dumb ass in this seat. And whatever I say, do it. If you do anything scary, bitch, I'm smoking your ass. He would also rob people that instantly go online to brag about it and taunt his victims. I'm going to show y'all who you got his ass cooked. That nigga just found me mad. Mm -hmm. right it wasn't him, but it was his hey, number. I'm going to show y'all, look. Look, fresh he had on. It's him right here. Ooh, Not I see it. He had none of this shit. What the bitch was that? Yeah, what, Man, look, we exposing uh, this nigga, cuz. His ass is fucking. Show that bitch. I mean, we, got a, we, we got an AP already, Stone. I'm, I'm having my way in Chicago, right, Illinois. Now this we got, got another rose. Hey, man, get them people they shit back. Sight. Them that bitch should never been trying to kick it by an Atlanta green. Damn. That's it. $10, $10. It cost them his whole hustle career. Everything he worked hard for. It cost him off all. He, 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 he even shot at someone on Instagram Live and somehow didn't get arrested. Since jumping off the porch at 18, little Jeff was doing a lot in the streets, but he really turned things up following the death of a close friend. Jeff's crew, Drill City, and another crew called Trap City used to be cool with each other until they allegedly backdoored one of Jeff's closest friends. One day, a Drill City member named Z Money was shot and killed. Members of Trap City were allegedly responsible for Z Money's death. Jeff said in an interview that the death of Z Money made him see red and it really got him to go hard in the streets. I don't know what Jeff's 10 plus alleged bodies are, 
so I'm just going to discuss the ones that he self-snitched about the most. The first one was allegedly direct retaliation for Z Money's death. On June 25th, 2023, a Trap City member named Leo, real name Jaleel Goins, had just gone into the backseat of a lift ride in the 1300 block of West Taylor Street in Little Italy just before 9 p.m. when another car approached. Someone inside hopped out, walked up to the backseat window where Leo was sitting, and opened fire. Leo was shot multiple times and rushed to the hospital where he was tragically pronounced dead at just 19 years old. Little Jeff and other members of Bloodhound went on social media and pretty much openly confessed to being responsible for Leo's murder and that it was get back for Z Money. Go ask the ops that might go Drake for shit and part. Go ask my ops that might go Drake, his ass ain't making fuck. Go ask my ops that might go Drake, his ass ain't get out that car. You know that? I was right there, you know that? Fuzzy money, we got back and take too long, bitch, I'm relentless. Sometime after this, Little Jeff would allegedly be involved in a double murder that made him gain notoriety on the internet. Little Jeff and Bloodhound used to be cool with members of BKN. In fact, there's videos of Jeff online hanging out with them. Well, everything changed after Jeff was allegedly robbed by BKN members for his watches. This made him want to get back at them as soon as possible. Well, he would allegedly do so in a horrific manner. On January 26, 2024, a BKN member named Monty, real name Ontario Williams, and another young man named Little Rob, real name Robert Boston, were standing outside of their school, Innovations High School, when a group of masked gunmen jumped out of two vehicles in front of the school and opened fire. The gunmen let off dozens of shots, striking Monty and Little Rob multiple times in the chest. Both were rushed to the hospital, where Monty would tragically be pronounced dead at just 17 years old, and Little Rob would tragically be pronounced dead at just 16 years old. Following this double homicide, Little Jeff went on social media, openly bragging about being responsible, claiming that he and his crew killed them because they stole from him. The shit will start happening, and y'all know this by now. I went black for like a week, and poof. Gotta go after that one. Poof. I came back. Poof. I don't live them niggas though. Just walked in list with two hats. Rich stepping on blood niggas know how I get. He ain't get a chance to run. Can't say that he tripped. Bounced out four steps. Two niggas got hit. Monty also went by the nickname Za. Before he passed, Monty did a vlog with a YouTuber named On a Couch TV. Following the murder, Little Jeff recently released a song where he quoted exactly what Monty said in that video and claimed that he turned Za into Za. Cause they know I smoke pot, we really spank shit, turn Za into Za. Damn. We really spank shit, turn Za into Za. Smoke your ass like some Za. Don't get your ass smoke like some Za. And y'all already know my name, Drex. Zah, they call me Zah. Smoke your dumb ass like some Zah. <laughs> All of this self snitching and social media antics started to cause Little Jeff to blow up. His music videos started to get hundreds of thousands of views. In drill music, when someone is believed to be a real killer and actually living their raps, fans start to gravitate towards them. Little Jeff was doing a lot in the streets, but eventually it would catch up with him. On June 8th, 2024, Little Jeff was in the 6600 block of South Roads at 514 p.m. when he was shot in the chest. He was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at just 21 years old. People were wondering what he was doing in Trap City territory. Well, video of the shooting just came out. It turns out Little Jeff died while on a drill trying to kill one of his ops. In the video, Little Jeff can be seen shooting at someone and chasing them into a house when out of nowhere, someone within the house returns fire and strikes him in the chest. Shortly after Jeff's death, those close to him would mourn on social media. At the moment of making this video, it is unknown who killed him, but pretty much every single one of Bloodhound's ops have gone on social media dissing him and celebrating. Hey, <laughs> 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 
Amen. They say they chop that brain. Hey, two hands. Hey, I'm a fan. What you want, Katie? This shit. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo. I gave you that. Hold on, hold on. I gave you that. I gave you that. I gave you that. I right, bet. Pop that right now. Who that? Who, 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 who that is? It's Katie. Man, Chicago is a different breed. People openly confess to heinous crimes in order to build a name, but having a name in the streets isn't worth it. All it does is cause your life to end before you can truly experience what this world has to offer or get you locked up for life. RIP to everyone that passed away in this video. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comment section, and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. <laughs>